get any of this. I don't think this is climbable. You guys know best. Oh, this way. I see. I mean, there's absolutely nothing up here. <laughs> but still, I was gonna check. So we seem to go along the shoreline, and we need to find this dizziard. Oh, hello. Um, I hope I don't have to get into conflict with you because I'm out of healing. Teresia and Falchos. Falchos? Falchos. Falchos. I don't know how to pronounce your name, sorry. As you approach the grove, you hear two voices in soft conversation. The first is a velvet baritone, begging on the brink of tears. Please, Teresia, my love, don't send me away. I'd rather die than, is he a satyr? I want you to live, the girl's voice says sharply. Falchos, you are my knight in shining armor. I love you like I've never loved anyone before. But if you stay, you, you. The girl's voice falters and she collapses into sobs. Wait, there's someone here. Show yourself. Approaching, you notice a fake couple, a satyr and a dryad who watch you with an anxious look. It's an ambush, I'm telling you. I'll chop these assholes limbs right off. The hark off reaches for his weapon. Stay weapon and don't draw it until I give the order. Wait, I want to speak with them, but keep watch for me. Regengar nods. He watches the Fae closely with his hand on his weapon. Who are you? My name is Teresia. I've lived here since my tree awoke from the earth and first saw the sun. This is Valtros from far away. We're, we are together. The Satan nods. And we'll stay together till death takes us. Can you help me with the Fae situation back at the village? The dryad narrows her eyes at Valtros and folds her arms. Can't you do without the death part? I managed so far, he grins widely. What are you arguing about? These lands could be beautiful again, but not as long as this monster exists. Valtra's hand curls into a fist. We cannot leave. We must fight. My sweetheart, my love. Teresia's voice trembles on the verge of tears. You've tried already and barely survived. Please, I'll endure. I'll go to sleep again. If you were to die, it will hurt me far more than if I let you go, knowing you're far away, but alive and well. Look at me, Teresia. I'll never leave you. Never. I beg you, don't send me away. Being without you, it'll kill me as surely as the scythe tree itself. That thing is too high a level, bro. I can't help you with that. The scythe tree won't leave us be. Simply being brave is not enough to defeat it, Valtros. Sooner or later it will kill you. Yet yeah, not to mention that, you know, it does con damage just being around it because of the mist. I'd have to try and lure it out of its place to come to me. That's really not going to happen. I beg you, put an end to the creature. End our suffering and its suffering as well. We'll find a way to reward you. What is the scythe tree and why is it dangerous? Well, it's... Teresia curls her fingers, imitating claws, and pretends to snatch up something with them. Valtros jumps in. First, it's just the tree. Fire is not its friend, and you'd best use a weapon suited to chop through its bark, not impale it. Right, and also, its branches are very long. Be careful, it can reach you from afar. Uh, maybe I could help, depending on what you're offering. It's not much, but Teresia gets a small chest from under the tree roots. I will help you. I'm so grateful, you're our saviour. Honey, you're going to wait a bit, I need to level this shit up. You'll find it south of here in a large glade. Good luck, we'll wait here for you. <laughs> what happened to the village? The dryad gives a heavy sigh and closes her eyes as if remembering. It was a beautiful place. A human village on the edge of the real Fey kingdom. They lived in peace alongside the Fey for generations, united by friendship, sometimes even by love. The dryad looks away. That is, until our queen, Calatropsia, Calatropsia? Lost her heart to the headman's daughter. Such a beautiful couple, but it happened at their wedding day. Both humans and Fae had gathered to celebrate the union. No one knows what happened next, but in the midst of the festivities, Calatropsia suddenly transformed. She changed into a monster. Oh! The dryad's voice drops and she glances around as if afraid another might hear. She became the scythe tree. She killed her bride, her love, then destroyed the village. What the hell happened? Humans fled or were killed. Same with Fae. Our kingdom fell in a heartbeat. I couldn't leave my tree, so I less slept for many years. Until I awoke to the sound of pipes playing such beautiful music. She smells at Valtros. A girl from the village married a dryad? Teresia smiles. Your world and the world of the Fae are great and wide, yet rarely do they touch. It is unfortunate for when they do, great joy is possible. Not simply between two souls, but more so when a third arises from their love. A child either born or found. Here, for instance, when my tree and I were far younger than we are now, a girl lived here, Elga Verniax. She was a daughter of the woman of the, from the village, her father, a satyr. We loved her so much, watching her grow, laugh, learn. The dryad shakes her head sadly. 
but her mother took her and left. If she still lives, she's certainly forgotten all about us. Her poor father missed her so much, the grief never left him. It was in his eyes when he passed. The dried is silent for a moment, averting her eyes, then turns to face you again. Humans and Faye both love, and love strongly, and we feel the same pain when we are cut off from the ones we hold in our hearts. Can't you go visit her? She's across the way. Um, yeah. I don't really know how you think I'm going to accomplish this task. Because it's significantly higher level than I am. I'll go ahead. Ah! Enraged owlbears? Oh, hell no. Look ahead. I don't want to go that way, unless you got some dizzy head over that way. I am not that interested. Hi. Why do things just keep appearing out of the bloody mist? What are you? Greater werewolf? Holy fucking shit. Level y'all. You were destroying me. Flames take you. This won't kill me. Can't help you. I got you dead. Oh shit! I didn't see that one there behind you. Aim carefully. Yeah, that worked out so well for you. Do not fall down. Reduced. Die for me. I'll survive. I mean, you were going to die getting up anyway. At least you took an attack away from Valerie. Taste my fury. Cannot hide from me. Find you? Yes. Attack. Ah! Come on, Valerie, get your ass up. Uh. Onwards. Bleed for me. This is going to hurt. Nowhere to run. Okay. <sighs> Just the werewolf. Wasted. Just the werewolf. Stay behind me. Ha. Look, anything you can do is 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 extra damage that we can use. Practically dead. Burn. Okay. okay, we definitely need to just take a break. We are extraordinarily injured. You should take a look. Oh, okay. I'll take that. No, 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 no. This is what I wanted. Okay, so we essentially just need to go back around and down and die. Got it. Well, if it's all the same to you, game, I'm going to rest before I do that because we have no health. We have... I mean, we've got healing items. I don't really want to use them. Do you think it's safe to just sleep in the village? I really don't see how we're going to kill this shambling mound. I mean, yeah, she'll be a fire damage, but Reg doesn't. Oh, I suppose he's got Scorching Ray. Wait, hold up. Please, oh, it's a do box. tell. It's a lockbox, don't worry about it. Ha! I wish I was born in a noble family. Servants to lick my boots and bring me breakfast in bed. Not like in my tribe. They wake you up with a kick and hustle you to cook for them. The stinking goats. 
I bet your time among nobility would be even shorter than mine. <laughs> You'd jump up the moment you were trying on your third dress, or drinking tea with your auntie. You'd trash the place and run into the forest. I do agree with this assessment. Rest took nine hours. Okay, nine hours is adequate. I just don't see this working. I really don't. I mean, how to get it to attack me outside of the mist? It's almost you like see that? I would need... <gasps> Dizzy head! You've got to spot the damn stuff. So it could be anywhere here. I've already been down here and it wasn't down here. Damn. We're about down at this dude's house. Do you have any dizzy head over here? No, because we've already been here. Let's head out. Hmm. Anyway, it's almost like... Was it here? Here? I've got to get Ekun to shoot it and then kite it back to here where my frontliners will be waiting. Is this practical? Absolutely freakingly not. Oh. Okay, come here, buddy. You're on a one-man mission. Kite through the fog, shoot the thing, and lure it down to the others. There it is. Shoot. I aim true. Let's finish them quick. Ooh. Reduce damage. Rough. <laughs> Real rough. Not bruh. Stop aiming. Stop aiming. Guys are doing nothing. <sighs> Run back, my friend. Run to the safety of your peers. Wait, does it move? What if it doesn't move? Okay. Dog. Probably me. So I can heal if necessary. Now need y'all to travel in a straight line. Okay? We are going to navigate this goddamn gap and you're gonna keep to the gap. You hear me? Okay, I veered a little bit. The path is clear. Guys, uh, can you just Oh he's standing in it too. I'm listening. Now it's the beginning of the hunt. You need to sort of go around this way, unfortunately. Uh can you please go here? Here, and then here, here, and then try not to get in my way, so go around the back. Okay, that's actually a good technique for everybody. If you can get as far around as... Okay, or not. Just don't hit the mist. <sighs> this is not going to go well for me. Do you just get to where you can hit Flames it? Take you. you missed. Uh, I don't know if that really counts. I'm right. Nine, hold a marge. And you can't gun. do much of anything. Super. Nice work. All 16 years is going to be a fudging rough battle. So it's got 152 HP. It's got a 25 AC, so it's just hard to hit in general. 10 damage reduction except slashing. And it's immune to poison. Cool, cool. You said to use fire though. Hmm. It's gonna be so hard to hit. 
Let us strike as one! Tear them apart! Oh, she raged. Uh, yeah. And this is why the heel has to come up nice and close and personal. Uh, just attack for now. Fear me! Oh, fine. You need to, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Ah, oh, shit. Take the hit. Oh, you didn't. Fantastic. Cannot hide from me. I mean, I can, can do literally nothing. He's chipping away at it, I suppose. That's something. Do not falter. Huh. Go down! Yes! Sword hit Amiri. Okay, Valerie's fine. Uh, is using Scorch Amiri that close is not ideal. Um, do you think? You know, it's, it's resistant to mental effects. Is that mental though? Hmm. Just shock it. Oh. Maybe not then. Don't use spells. Just attack it. Solid plan. Because it looks like it's just going to whack you no matter what you do. Nowhere so just, just hit it. Yay, three damage. Woot. I'll take what I can get with this clusterfuck of a situation. Onwards! Ooh, solid hit. 46 critical. Weak suffer. I Ugh. endure. Ugh. How are you not down? I'll Bro, you're on negative HP. Burn. Is it some sort of orc ferocity thing? <laughs> Creepy. Uh, hey, true. <gasps> the dog did damage. The dog did damage. This is great. Stay behind me. All right. Who's gonna touch it? <laughs> to loot it. I am yours to command. There's somebody's body. A wand of burning arc. Oh good, she didn't get damaged. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. We survived, guys. We actually survived. It's a miracle. Stop moving. Wand of Burning Arc. Only Octavia can use it. Old Wedding Ring. Nita's Letter. My dear Calitropsia. Every day I spend without you seems to drag on forever. Blah, blah, blah. One thing disturbs my happiness. Do you know that someone tried to interfere with our wedding? My former groom, Dorsey, has talked father into trying to disrupt the, wed the ceremony. Picture this. Can I read? There we go. Father took it into his head that since he is headman of our village, he can decide my fate. But don't you worry, my love. Their plot has fallen apart. No gods could prevent our union, for a higher force is standing behind us. A few nights ago, I dreamt of a mesmerizing maiden who told me how to free myself of my father's grip. I did everything as she told. I was so angry with him. Now, of course, I am beset with doubt. Was it the right thing to do? Still, I hardly think any of this is more than pure superstition. Such silliness cannot absolutely change how things are, and I could have dreamt up anything. Okay, that doesn't tell me what happened though. What don't actually hesitate. happened? We should prepare. Any fun to be had? Hmm. If you could please, Cypress Queen's flower, an antique relic. Okay. Well, actually. Since you're here. Alright, there's nothing there. Never mind. What about up here though? Do you two think you can get through this border without taking damage? And then through this border here? What's that? <gasps> That's unhoop for me. I don't think my dizzy head is here. Oh, dog hit. And then just out. Right, everybody assembled. Regengar has taken damage. Go. Back to normal order. I 
I shall not fail. You say that. So we're obviously gonna have to take out the wisps. I genuinely don't know how though. That seems rather difficult. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, 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 what the fudge are you doing? Not the wolf. Tread lightly. Does he add? I just need one more. Do we have to attempt to go through this mist? I don't want to go through that mist. Although you seem to insinuate that you can get through. Maybe you can get through. Why are you all glowy like? I don't know why he's all glowy like. Don't you dare go that way. There's a goddamn vicious mist out that way. So I'm still not sure how to resolve this quest though. Okay, it does let me go this way. Brilliant. Dizzy head. Hey slug, have you seen any more dizzy head? I'm in the market. Strike when second. No, I don't think they've seen any. Don't use resources. That might be my dizzy head. If we're lucky. Let us strike as one. Die for me. Are we still chucking grass equipped? That's what it was. Flames take. Bring it. Just don't stand in the mist, Mary. Fuck me. Aim carefully. I do not want to be healing you. Do not falter. Bleed for me. Cannot hide from me. Taste my fury. Tear them apart. Okay, can you all step back here? Everybody get my dizzy head. Yes, three for three. Can we please heal the Miri? We should be using that in combat with the bloody things. Okay, we are good. Good to go. We can go back to her with the flowers. Although I don't really need to go back to her until I get the other ones as well. But you know, whatever. Okay, now that you're going to go the safe way, go up to the satyr and the dryad. <sighs> I don't think these products will have issues, but I'll take it to her anyway. But just speak to these guys first. The scythe tree is no more. Falchus gives you a wide grin, while Teresia wipes away a tear. May you now know peace, my queen. Ugh, I haven't done a single one of these things. We thank you. Here is your reward. Teresia hands you a small chest. Coins? A lot. Jade, moonstone, citron. Okay. Is that it? <sighs> Doesn't really help me though. With the problem here. Doesn't help me. Okay, so we really just need to go kill these stupid wisps. Okay, well. I'll go ahead. I don't see this working. I really don't see this working. Let's go visit her first, actually, you know? Just in case her stuff fouls. I don't think it will, like the fang bear. I think if the, the things we're going to get after this may foul. But I'm just going to give it to her anyway. This one. The old one claps her hands and grins, revealing a round row of brown, uneven teeth. There's a good girl. Didn't take a lot of time to find her, meh. It did, actually. Give them here. I'll put them to good use. All right. Four gold coins. After her new herbs are tucked away, she seems a bit more pleasant, even giving a gap-toothed smile. That's a proper greeting. Trading favours. 
Help me and I help you. So what did you want to know? Hmm? Ask. I know the area. Might be able to help you on your way. Or maybe you need some potions. Nothing cheap, but nothing you can't afford. And they do the trick they do. Oh, so you have wares. Uh, what happened here? I have no idea. Used to be a village here once. Good folk. Well off. But not so well off to put on airs. They were at peace with the Fae. Even had festivals. Celebrated with them. But that was long ago. Six or seven dozen years at least. As for what ruined them, I don't know. Gotta guess though. In the darkest nights, strange sounds come from deep in the woods, crackling and moaning, as if a great tree is twisting its roots, rattling its branches like bones. There's something there, a creature that drove away folk and fae alike. As I've heard, a daughter of a human and a fae used to live here. Her name is Elga Verniex. Are you her? The old beldame averts her eyes. Might be me. She sighs. Or might not. What's the difference? Who would still remember the name? Oh, the Teresian did. Uh, how much for your patience? We can cross this task of our list. Damn straight we can. Uh, I mean, I am in the market for more of those, but you know. <gasps> Scroll! Who only had the one? <gasps> right! Octavia had haste! <sighs> I'm really suffering by not having Octavia in the party, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh! Ooh! The book he wanted! I forgot about the book! A pouch of feather tokens. Each of them can turn- Oh! For the Nixie, but we already solved that problem. But I needed that. I forgot about that. Thank you! That's part one of my quest complete. Don't know where the others are though. Okay. Assemble around this goddamn well. Okay, don't do any stupid checks because you're going to fail. In which direction was the well? Oh, there it is. Because you're going to fail. Okay, so we know they appear up here. And one down there. Hmm. How to array myself. I am your shield. I'm listening. I am ready. Kanira. The road Very. Be on guard. Back it up. Here. Valerie in the middle. I'm restless. Dragon Girl. Well. Amiri. No, 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 no. Blah, 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 blah. Amiri. And then Doc. Because they're somewhere here. Three of them are somewhere here. Oh, this is going to be a clusterfuck, except Our someone has calls. to set it off. Another hard save. I just don't think I'm capable of doing this. I really don't. At least I don't have the issue of uh, the will. Ow! Ow! I require Ow! Healing. Yeah, you bloody do! Um, I'm thinking this one first, guys. This is going to hurt. Well, fuck me. Do you think it'll let me? No, I gotta pick and choose. And I still haven't run a check on these things. Other than that, they're really high level. Oh, that's right, magic missile. You can use that. But I can't. You're literally the only person who can use that. It's easier to just attack it. <laughs> Might get more of a result if you just attack the bloody thing. Oh well. Looks like we're going to have multiple attempts to kill this. Until we get some good uh, luck on our side. Need you to go there, and then way over there, and hopefully they won't hit you. <laughs> Don't know if that's gonna help you at all, but you know. Onward! Yeah, take it. Okay, the good news is I saved myself. No, I didn't. I'm down. I thought I got far enough away. Burn. Useless fucking Kanira. Are you gonna do more damage here? Yeah, he does more damage with his weapon. That's one. Nowhere to run. 
Uh, we're kind of still unfortunately in a line. Exposed. It's just going to rip through us Stay again. Me. Oh, it's out of chain lightning. I require healing. Don't have any, honey. I'm dead. Take you. Why do you fucking suck? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's immune. That's why you suck. Okay. Well, we need to just change it to Kalika and see if that works any better. Probably not. I'll cut you! Bring it! One to go. This is way better than the first time we did this battle. I aim true. Oh my god, this is way better! Strike is one. I mean, Valerie's gonna go down right now. Oh! It just hit one of me. Oh, for God's sake, I meant to change you. Die oh, okay now. Tear them apart. Damn, but the criticals, Mary. Nice. I grant you death. Do not falter. Save yourself. No. I can't keep this up much longer. Avenge me. There you go. This is going to hurt. It's just quicker than changing her. Me. Come on, guys. They go down. Guys. Cannot hide from me. It's sad when the arrows are the things killing the Will of Wisp. Burn. Fear me. Okay, it's just skip just her turn. His turn. Alrighty. They are dead. Who wanted them dead? A coin with Wilbur's name. Calitropsia's name. Wilbur. Wilbur. Why are there two Wilbur's though? Why are there two Wilbur's? Let us bide our time. So what do I do with the well now? Okay. Do I go talk to Spec the dude? Tell him that the well's gone, he can move on and then go take these coins to the douchebag down the bottom? To be fair, he's... The woman he was going to marry suddenly turned around and fell in love with somebody else. Like, I, I can't see, do see his perspective. I found some coins in the well. Here, have a look. The ghost studies the coins for several moments and turns to you. His face grief-stricken. That's what this is all about. That's why I can't risk. Oh, dark things. Dark sins. What do these coins mean? They are a curse. It is a legend in these parts. It was said if you bore hatred in your heart, hatred so fierce it could burn another's soul. All you need to do was etch your enemy's name on a coin and cast it into the cursed well. It would be the end of them. The ghost nods. And the end of you as well. A curses carry a heavy price. If you hate another more than you love your own life. Well, your life is already forfeit already. Ah, so old mate did this. Um, the, the, what's his face? The dude with the weird name. Um, so, whose names are on these coins? Well, but that's me, I assumed as much. I thought I had no enemies at all. And here were two who wanted me gone from this world. These coins, look at them. The inscriptions are done by different hands. Oh, it's because your daughter. Your daughter did it. And the second name, the second. Calitropsia. Sounds familiar. I write, that's the Dryad, my daughter's new love. Someone must have hated her so much that he was willing to doom his own immortal soul to get rid of her and of me. Dorsey, that's the one. I guess as Yobbo Dorsey was the one who'd cursed us, her for stealing his bride and me for letting this happen. Nasty things, nasty sins. But who else would wish me dead? I've got no slightest idea about that. Yeah, well, it happens to be your daughter. Soz. After reading the letter, the old man shakes his head, devastated. Oh, Nita, Nita, what have you done? And what have I done, such an old fool? The ghost raises his grief-stricken eyes at you. While I was alive, I was a coward, a coward and a liar. That's how it went. On one hand, I felt Dorsey was a good man, a reliable man, a much better match for my daughter than some dryad. On the other hand, it would bring misfortune on me, on us, the village, to refuse the Fae, and my Nita, she truly loved the dryad. What was I left to do? If I gave it to Dorsey, the Fae would seek revenge. If I gave it to the Fae, Dorsey would seek revenge. I used to give advice, and I, but I couldn't heed it myself. You know, if your daughter didn't rush so freaking quickly in her relationships, it wouldn't have been an issue. It sounds like she was engaged to Dorsey, and as they were about to have their wedding, she fell in love with the Dryad and like immediately had a wedding to the Dryad. And don't think enough time passed to let the guy mourn the, the loss of their relationship and like try and move past it. It sounds like Nita was a bit callous and hasty in her nuptials. 
I used to give advice, but I couldn't heed it myself. I was a fool. The ghost speaks slower as if hearing his own story for the first time. I lied to Dorsey, saying the faith threatened me. Then, I lied to my daughter, telling her Dorsey had pursued me. Then I waited for the situation to solve itself. And it did. Dorsey grew to hate me, and so did my own daughter. The ghost shakes his head and closes his eyes. Okay, well... Here they are. These coins just won't let me go. Those with my name are on it. They are symbols of a curse. I was hated not one, but by two persons. Their hatred is the rope that ties me to this world and keeps me awake. I don't know if it is a curse that can be lifted, but do me a favor. Put the coins on the altar of Aristil. It's nearby in the temple ruins. Are these temple ruins? Maybe my god will take mercy on me and let me rest at last. Put the coins on Aristil's altar. You place the coins on the altar. For a moment, <coughs> nothing happens and the coins evaporate silently, steaming away to mist. The ghost watches. The coins evaporate to mist, almost in disbelief. At last, you have my gratitude. I feel tired. The ghost blinks and you notice his silhouette is blurring slightly, evaporating as the coins did, but more slowly. But I must reward you, somehow. I've got nothing except for... Wait, under the boulder. I had something a years ago. I have no need of it now. For me, it is time to rest. And with that, the ghost disappears. Oops, dissolves into thin air. Oh, which boulder are you talking about? Which boulder would be that, sir? A boulder over yonder where? <laughs> sir? <laughs> oh, there. That ain't a boulder. But I'll take it. Are you going to auto-identify it like you have in the past, but failed to do recently? Uh, where did that go? Am I just blind? Where is it? There. Ugh. I don't know how to... Do, do I need to sleep? What do I need Tread to lightning. do? Anywho, back up to uh, good old Dorsey. The douche nozzle. Did I save? I don't know if I saved. Uh, I feel like this is going to turn into a battle. We've destroyed the coins to give final rest to the ghosts of old man. Great grammar. So I'll never rest. Never. With a heartbreaking howl, the demon lunges at you. Yeah, well, you kind of brought this upon yourself. I'm not going to lie. Nowhere to run. Onwards. Doesn't exactly have much health. I'll cut you. Bring it. He only has one attack. Raw. You're going down real quick. Uh, true. And there you go. Together we are unstoppable. Can you just get the fuck out of the way? Thanks. Now let's loot. All right. All we get is his hand axe and the box I can't open because we can't pick locks. Um, well, eh. it says it's complete, but it's still just sitting there. How weird. It won't just complete and disappear. How very, very weird. Anywho, we're leaving. We have been here way too long. I've spent a very, very long time IRL here. It's time to just get the hell out of Dodge. Whew. I am sure we're going to encounter trolls on the road, as per bloody usual, but it's time we... Oh, I've got to get her bloody things. Her mushrooms. I just want to go to the Dwarven Fortress already. It's only been like teasing me with that for hours. Hours upon hours, and I still can't make it there. But I'm also conscious of this time. Ah! Woman! It's on the way over there! I ain't got time for that! Absolutely not. Uh, up, down, up, down, up, down. I'm thinking down. I do not have time to be gallivanting out to your mud bowl right now. 
Absolutely not. I mean, as it is, I kind of need to rest before I go in. How many heals? I, I can't see how many heals you got left, but he's got like con damage. The time. The time. I should never have come to the stolen lands. Here, here. No, not like this. I shouldn't have stayed. But now, it's too late to leave. Ugh. Don't even. I don't want to hear it, quite frankly. I can't do anything for you because this is not my territory. Plus, I have to be in the throne room anyway. The path is clear. That's nice. Hail, Borba. Jason. Jason? Jason? Uh, the troll who stands before you looks different from his kin. His pelt is cleaner, and his stench is almost bearable, unlike the other trolls. Noticing you, he turns and slowly steps toward you. Hail, Borba. The troll's voice is rough and gravelly. Welcome to Trobold. An abandoned dwarven keep where two races, trolls and kobolds, settled together, attempting to create their own kingdom. Such an unlikely union could have been created only by a true genius, at least by kobold standards. Not here to talk. Ares will speak in my stead. He grins widely, revealing a row of long, rotten and chipped teeth, but there's no menace in it. Who are you? Jason. The troll pounds his chest, making a hollow thud. I had a different name before. Now, Jason. Like Borba. He thrusts out his chest and a dribble of drool from his mouth promptly lands there. Me talk like Borba. Wash myself like Borba. And no, eat Borba. Me is like Borba myself. Throw bold. As capital. The troll exclaims, waving his hand toward the rock. Kingdom of both troll and kobold. We live there now, in peace with Borba. Owl's land. Yeah, but what about the trolls roaming the land? Is that a whole separate situation entirely? I mean, I've got no beef with the trolls and the kobolds if they want to live here in this fortress with each other peacefully. But it's the roaming trolls that I have an issue with. Really a kingdom? Dragon Girl whistles in surprise. I'm certainly like to see what kind of kingdom they... Kobold together. Kobold together? Bwa ha ha. A pun. You understand puns? My lord, he's got advanced knowledge. Looks like the trolls have a sense of humor, though for some reason they seem to shy away from the fiery or caustic humor. Congratulations, you found your audience. We can go last. Yeah, okay, cool. Your common is impressive. Yes, the troll agrees. Tatuk speaks like that. Taught me Borba language. Told I am smart. The troll proceeds to scratch his armpit and sniff his fingers. <laughs> what do you mean, Borba? You a Borba. Troll hesitates. Human, elf, dwarf, or Borba. So, humanoids or just humanoid races that are not troll and kobold? Alright, what do you want from me? The troll makes a strange growl. You're about to draw your weapons when it becomes evident that he was simply clearing his throat. I meet Borba and tell them King Harguka and King Tarkuk ask Borba stay away from Throbold. It's filthy, not pretty, and dangerous. We invite Borba later, when kings allow. Okay, tell me more about Trobold. Well, I am not lawful. First city for both Troll and Kobold. It will be kingdom. Troll and Kobold and Borba will do friendship. Troll no eat Borba anymore, and Borba no kill Troll and Kobold anymore. Peace. I mean, I agree with you. I don't really feel the need to kill you. Who is Haguka? King over all trolls. Smart. Strong. Yes, a transposed. Kind. The troll stutters lightly and pauses for a moment. Made all trolls together. Made kingdom like Borba. Okay. What else can you tell me about Trobold? Many troll, many kobold. Live together. Learn Borba speech. Paint walls. Tatuk protects trolls from fire. Jason's... Yeah, but why are you you're lot roaming and like killing people? If you want to have a nice peaceful kingdom, then why are you all straying and killing? Plenty food too, plenty loot. Troll and kobold share. Jason looks you in the eyes. Many trolls wild eat Borba. They will stop soon. Peace. How soon is soon? Because people are dying. The trolls aren't eating people anymore. 
Me no eat boba no more, Jason claims proudly. King Harguka and King Tautuk order so. Other trolls still eat boba. They wild and dumb. Soon they stop. So what do you eat now? Horse, cow, dog. Jason scratches his belly. Is belly, apparently. Dead boba too sometimes. Ew! Long dead before Haguka's order. No need to waste food. I mean, yeah, but ew. So you still eat human flesh? The troll stares at you for a moment. Meat, he confesses, slumping a little. But me no, kill Borba. Never again kill Borba. At least they've got a line that he's not crossing. Are you sure you won't change your mind as soon as you run out of people in your larder? You might get hungry again. Troll's eyes flash. Borba no get it. Borba no food. Haguka said so. Borba tried to get me angry on purpose. Oh, I'm sorry. Borba friend. He nods and then goes silent. Uh, alright, you don't eat people anymore, but how can you be so sure about the rest of your kin? Dumb Borba. Don't listen. Jason snarls. Trying to eat Borba. Borba friend. Uh, calm down, it's just a question. Please be gentle. <laughs> For several moments, Jason inhales and exhales loudly, his eyes bulging madly, but he then seems to regain control over himself. Borba and Troll friends. He nods, then turns away. Alright, so that's enough about food. Tell me more about Trobold. Um, no more about Trobold. Um, we just want to look around here. We're not here to fight. True. We're here to find the truth behind the trolls. And we are discovering this. So, Amiri looks at you with confusion. What? What do you mean we're not here to fight? Valerie bites her lip. With respect, I must warn you. That was an inconsiderate statement. Our duty is to our people, not these beasts. But these beasts are our people, Valerie. Don't be so short-sighted. Oh, God. Oh, I brought the troll hater with me. Oh, boy. This is not going to go well. Ekun takes a breath as if about to speak and spits on the ground instead. Jason scratches the back of his head, making a loud crackling sound. Borba better not go. Troll's still wild and dumb. Much danger. Jason sighs. A sound you've never heard from a troll and stomps away. Huh. This is perplexing. Bring Jubilost to the outpost. Yeah, too bad. Destroy the troll lair. Uh, but I just said I wasn't going to. <laughs> and now it says to do I'll so. I'm going back on my word to Jason. That makes me a horrible person, you know.